Hi friends! My name is Adam Calhoun and I am not a doctor nor am I a scientist. Shit, I barely graduated high school. Not because I'm not smart, I just didn't give a shit. However, God did bless me with the ability to process information and to decipher what is bullshit and what is not. I believe that's called common sense, which a lot of you lack. So I tested positive for COVID on August 27th. And some of the things that I'm about to say are not backed by science, kind of like when the doctors say stuff. Also, what I'm about to say are my opinions, Facebook fact checkers, my opinions on COVID and what happened, how I feel what happened to me getting coronavirus. Now, I have not worn a mask since they started saying wear masks and I will not wear a mask. COVID-19 supposedly came from China. China. It made it all the way here from China. I'm pretty sure it'll make it another six feet with the whole social distancing thing. Since I did test positive for COVID, I did stay my ass at home, like they say, and I did quarantine. Now, they gave me paperwork and they in the CDC, the new CDC thing says, after 10 days of no symptoms, you are considered not contagious anymore. Here's what I think about the masks. In my opinion, I believe if you're gonna get this shit, you're just gonna get it. There are doctors and nurses and everyone else that works in hospitals who wear the mask, follow all the guidelines, and they still get sick. Now, can they put certain things in place that you have to follow and all this to make it better? Maybe, yeah, maybe that works. I could tell you it didn't work for me because I didn't follow any of those guidelines. I was driving around my town licking the gas pumps. I was like, let's go. I'm trying to get my immune system up. So here's how it affected me. It knocked me on my ass for three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I had a fever for the first time since I was like a kid. My fever got up to 102 and a half. Uh, body aches, the body aches, oh my God. I could handle physical pain pretty well. The body aches mixed with the fever, it was horrendous. Now I know a lot of people like, I got it, it didn't do anything to me, or I got it, I just had a little cold. This shit knocked me on my ass, that is real. Now I never lost my taste or my smell, and thankfully, thank you, my lungs have stayed pretty clear. So I think it was like the fourth day, I was feeling a tiny little bit better. I got up and I ran a mile bad mistake that put me down for another two days i kept chipping away at it though i kept going and, and trying to push myself and uh finally i got to a point where i'm like all right this is not making things better so i just sat my ass down for a week which d d drives my mind crazy and that's another thing when i when i was telling people that i tested positive for covid corona whatever people were like oh my god are you like like it's because what the media has said it's like people think that you're dying so not only are you dealing with the physical aspects that are happening to you you're dealing with mental shit because your mental is second guessing and kind of scaring yourself giving yourself anxiety and th this is things that i was going through myself so we're on week three it's been very exhausting uh today I feel pretty good. I worked out two days ago. I took yesterday off and today I feel decent. So here are my final thoughts. Number one, I never thought COVID was fake. I do believe that the media hyped it up and made it way bigger than it needed to be and scared a lot of people. I still will not wear a mask. Not because I'm trying to rebel against anything. It's because I'm an American. And the last time I checked, this is not a communist country as much as some of y'all would like it to be. Just look how it looks on our kids and sitting in school with masks on. Think what it's doing to the children, the youth. They're, they're growing up like this, so this is almost like the norm for them. This is not the norm. I am not trying to scare anybody. This is just what happened to me. This virus affects everyone differently. My buddy's mom got it. She's asthmatic, she's old, she's out of shape, and she was just fine. I run 15 miles a week workout. I am in shape and it laid me on my ass. And in my opinion, I feel like most people are going to get this sooner or later. You're gonna have to get this, get your immune system up, beat it, and let's, come on. Let's go back to being America. I think, and you know what else I think? I think after this election, a lot of things are gonna change. I pray to God they do. I love you guys, I'm getting better. If you are out there and you're sick, I hope you're getting better too. This was just a video of what me, a person that you guys see all the time telling you what I went through with this virus. So you're hearing it from me, not some far left media or news channel. This is straight from my mouth, me having it. 
and uh, I'm getting better slowly. I'm chipping away at it. And that's the thing. Just keep grinding. I love you guys. I love this country. I will talk to you later. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. And uh, apparently a lot of my neighbors are watching my videos now. And I got this one neighbor who's a real piece of shit. His name is Mike. So fuck you, Mike. Bye, friends.